Hi everyone, this is Galen Martling. Today I'm showing a one layer card. It is with a night scene that is stenciled and ink blending was applied and a spotlight look is there for the frog. And so to begin, you want to stamp your frog and the sentiment and the little heart in an area where you have your masking that will fit. In my case, I'm going to use a stencil for masking, but you can die cut or trim any piece in the middle to, to um, mask off this center part and add ink blending around it. So for now, I used Copic Friendly Ink to stamp the frog and I'm using Copic markers listed here and on my blog. And this is just to add some color to the, the frog. Um, this can be colored however you'd like, whatever mediums you want to use. So I just use Copics for this particular one. And then I just added for the frog, I added just some layers of green and um, just give it, I gave it some light and dark shades of green, very simple, just going over the different shades and areas that you want to add richness or darker colors. And so, and then uh, there's a little heart up there. I wanted to color that too. And um, also I gave it a, a little bit of a ground area. It looks like he may be sitting on a branch of some sort. So I added um, some color at the bottom using a couple of shades of gray in there and a zero marker, which is a colorless blender. I use that as well just to help blend it and soften it. Now this is going to be a focal point for the card. Um, you'll see I'm going to do some ink blending next around the side. It's really cute. I just love it. I love this. This kid has some fun sentiments. This kid is by Unity. It's called Feeling Froggy. It has this cute frog and um, it's got some really fun sentiments to go with it. This is a stencil by My Favorite Things and it is something to mimic a watercolor shape or um, a watercolor edge detail there. We're not using watercolor, I'm just using some ink blending. And um, I positioned that inside panel of that stencil with repositionable tape. And that is just to hold it down temporarily. You can use some uh, purple tape or something to hold it down temporarily while you do your ink blending. So I use three colors of Distress Ink Pads by Ranger. And then I used uh, the lightest blue closest to the stencil masking there. And then uh, I go around and just add a darker shade of blue uh, just to go all along the outside of that lighter blue area. So I want the lightest shade to be closest in to the frog and the darker shades to be further out. And so that's my thought for this particular project here. I wanted sort of a spotlight scene for the frog. And so then um, I go ahead and add, actually use black soot along the edges just to really make it look richer, darker, more of a night scene. And so I just used ink blending all the way around um, the edges. And you'll see that I blend it into the blue a little bit, not all the way in, but just kind of matching it into that darkest blue area to make it a smoother color definition there. After you finish your ink blending, you want to make sure you heat set this all the way before you proceed. Uh, I used a lot of ink on this, so I just also clean your craft area up um, just so that nothing stays permanently dirty there. There it is. It's all dry. You can leave it out to dry. I just heat set mine beforehand. Then you want to go ahead and add that that stenciling right over the background again to cover that center area. You don't have to adhere it down this time. I just laid it right over top of the frog area. Then I'm going to use distress paint to add paint splatters. I'm also using a Tim Holtz splatter brush. It's pretty cool. It keeps your hands a little cleaner and you just splatter on that paint. I like the distressed paint because you don't have to water it down. That's my favorite thing about it. 
It also stays on top of the distress area if it's dry and it keeps that nice bright white look. And so you just go ahead and you splatter away. I have a box top that I use for a splatter box. Keeps everything contained. And then um, you want to go ahead and carefully remove that stencil um, mask there. And you're left with this frog with a cute background. Now this was also heat set to dry. I hope you like it. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube, like, and share. Have a great day.